Well, what's up, team? Uh, good to be connecting with you guys again. I wanted to share a quick update about what's been going on at Damascus, what's been going on in my life, and then I'll close with praying for you guys. And so, um, okay, what's been going on at Damascus? Well, uh, for those of you who've been with me for a while now, you kind of know, uh, you've tracked a little bit of some of the initiatives that we've taken on. And I would say this year has been a year of pruning at Damascus, pruning in some sense and growth in other senses. So, uh, you know that we opened a camp in Wisconsin for the St. Paul Minneapolis Diocese a few years ago. And that camp did okay. I had almost nothing to do with Northwoods is what it was called. We actually decided to close Northwoods this past, at the end of uh, a couple months ago, and double our efforts in Michigan, which is kind of what I've been <laughs> overseeing, which is great. So my key responsibilities at Damascus, uh, and you may know this from a previous video, to prepare for camp in Michigan again, to make sure it's sold out, and then to make preparations for our expansion to the East Coast. Okay, so I've been doing that a lot. We're still do making headway in preparations for the East Coast. I think that camp is going to be sold out immediately. Michigan is very, very close to that level. Uh, and, and also preparations on site are going well. So that's all good. Another one of my big responsibilities this year, actually, though, has been to preach. I've traveled a lot to speak. And I've been speaking of some awesome things. It's been a great, great gift. Uh, and I'm excited for what God has in store there. So some just, just some updates on some places that I've been. I went to the National Catholic Youth Conference, which was at, um, it was in Indianapolis. That was a couple months ago. Uh, and then I went to Ave Maria University and preached a retreat down there uh, for their campus ministry. I'm right, tight friends with their campus chaplain, Father Rick. Uh, then I went to James Madison University, to the University of Cincinnati. And then we had our big uh, Empower Conference at Damascus. And so that was great. There was a group of about 600 young adults who came to Damascus for that. I think that conference will likely have to be off-site. Not that many of you know what our site is like, but that conference is really, really gaining a lot of momentum. And so I think in the coming years, we'll have to uh, rent out a conference center to hold it. Um, and then I went to SEEK, which is the large focus ministries conference. Uh, and that was in St. Louis. And then Rise Up, which is like Canada's version of SEEK. Uh, they have a conference, they have a, a ministry called CCO. Anyway, so a lot of traveling. Um, I'll actually be heading to uh, the University of Madison or the University of Wisconsin in Madison this weekend to, to preach up there. Um, so God's been doing a lot there. It's really exciting. Um, and I'm grateful for that opportunity to, to share the good news. Um, I actually started a little Instagram channel called Offensive Church that you could check out if you'd like to. Uh, offensive Church, really, is the play on words there. And I'm always pu publishing content about the new evangelization, parish renewal, and how to, to forward that mission, which leads me to my next note. For all, any of you who've been with the team for some years now, you know that my greatest passion has been parish renewal. And I think uh, starting now, I'm beginning to step in a little bit more to that. So got a close partnership with the largest parish in the diocese here in Columbus. I'll share more about that pretty soon. Um, but there's some new initiatives going on that I think could be a model for parish life around America in the coming years. And I've seen a lot of exciting things. You may have heard of the, Cat the, the National Eucharistic Congress that's coming up. Uh, the USCCB has published... Um, well, some new some new initiatives they'd like to see parishes taking. And I'm, I'm excited about them. I think they could go further, and I've got a lot of ideas on it. So we're going to be piloting some of that. And uh, it's amazing. So God's doing awesome things. Um, so I'm grateful to be in this mission. I'll share more with you soon about what's coming next. But in the meantime, thank you so much for your support, your prayers, uh, and for making this mission possible. I'm eternally grateful to you. I keep you in my prayers all the time. You guys are amazing. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.